Yes, sir. DJ <laughs> on this station, Capital One. And we are hustling. 104 FM. Scatter, what's good? I'm good, man. How are you doing? How's your Monday? Hey, um, my Monday is good. December is always a lovely month for me. Yeah. So many celebrations for me. My birthday is coming up. Nice. A lot of, you know, things happening in December. So mm. I love December more than anything else. We like it. Yeah. And a uh, big shout out to the Pulsers. Thank you for tuning in to the most listened to show. They have energy. I like the energy. Yeah. We're here every single Monday to make sure that we provoke, inspire, and equip you on Hustle Hard. We don't want you to be average. We don't want you to be ordinary. We want you to be extraordinary human beings. Mm. We want to make sure that we inject you with so much inspiration, motivation, but above all else, we want you to act upon what we tell you. You know, we've been on this show for a good eight, nine months, and uh, it's always good when you're walking in the streets and uh, people are telling you, wow, you know, your lessons are priceless. You know, we would pay so much to get these things, but you're just giving them out freely. Mm. And, you know, we, our objective here, and my mandate on this planet, is to leave an impact in so many people's lives, especially more so those who act. Right. It's not everybody who acts. There are millions of people who are going to listen to our podcast, maybe live, maybe off air, but it's the results come to those who act upon what they hear. Because all of us can listen. You know, so many people have inboxed me, George, I've started because of you. George, I've changed my lifestyle. George, I talk to my kids differently. George, I manage myself, my business. I'm more disciplined. I'm now choosing my heart now. And you know, those things are, are good to get feedback because ultimately we don't want you to always be complaining, mm. to always be murmuring, but we want you to act. We are in Zimbabwe, we are in whichever country you're listening to me for, for a purpose. But the ones who make it in this life are the ones who did what everybody else didn't do, which is what led them to become great in what they do. They just did it. And it worked, mm -hmm. and it's so many of us stuck in that, in that, in that, in that, um, in that particular phase, George. Where you know, I, 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 I hear it, but I just can't then start. You know, ukangotanga ufamba, mota yangotanga mavira, ngotanga ngo move tatu in. That's right. You know, and that's that's where we want to start. So, uh, the, the, uh, I'm thinking from our discussion, there's something that you're supposed to have mindset, and I think. I'm thinking of the word conditioning, I don't know why. Mm. But there's a certain conditioning. Are you talking about air conditioning? Because <laughs> this room is air conditioned. You know, so we, we can put we're, in the right, we're, we're in the right environment. We can put it in there. Yeah. So if you're conditioned in a certain way, yeah. it then makes it easier for success to follow you. True. But what is this mindset? And how do you even get it? Do we all have it? We have to get it from somewhere. You know, um, the thing about mindset, I love the word of God. And I always refer to it. It says us a very simple thing about people if they are going to change and become great. It goes on to say, if ever you are to become great, this is in George's words, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renewing means there are certain traits that you were raised up with. So, Scatter, I grew up in Glenora, right? Uglenora taiji ka rice ne koslo salad pa Christmas. And it kangar ka mindset kataka kura nabo. Wokona huku ya urae waka pao ya vayenzi. And it, mm. it was a special meal. Mm. It wasn't something that just happens every now and then. So imagine being raised up like that, right? Your mindset is being conditioned because the environment that you are in. Right. But when you go to the other side of town, when I used to go for sleepovers at my friend's house, the, the rice and chicken in Koslo was an everyday thing. So when you are exposed to something, it will show you to know this is a on special occasion. This is just the norm on the other side. Right. Which then gets you to say, wait a minute. And for me, it made me say, if these people are doing this every day, why is it at our house it's only on special occasion? So this is where mindset begins. Mindset is something that we were groomed up being exposed to certain things. And I can tell you that um, there's a saying that says you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. 
you know i have um, a thing i do with my kids every single school run day which is called the school run diary we watch it we watch and, it and what i'm doing deliberately to my kids right i've got a four year old ten year old and my twins are 13. i'm conditioning their mindset at a young age to make them begin to believe in themselves at a very young age and i'm I, you know we, we started this many years ago but if you see or if you talk to any of my kids because we've been doing this for the past seven eight years their talk is different mm. their competitiveness is different mm. there's no i cannot there is no ah, this is too difficult because mindset is something that is embedded by repeatedly doing right and this is what sets people who are successful and people who are not people who i grew up with trust you me their mindset is different from mine because i was exposed you know the greatest blessing that my father nicodemus and teresa monengo you know big shout out to my parents i love them so much they invested in ensuring that my mind but they decided to take me to a school across town to people who had more than what we had and what it did it messed up my mindset and the mindset can I ask stretch water it cannot go back to what it was before you know there are some people who are listening to me now and not I have a nice car right the car you are in is nice trust you me if you go to exquisite castle or to Zimbabwe and you sit in a 2023 Mercedes Benz Rolls Royce when you go back to your car you will understand that no you can you messaging you whilst you are driving is a car which has eyes every corner and once you go back your mindset is transformed right. because of the exposure that you got mm. so back to your original question mindset is something that you purposely do deliberately i do it with my kids deliberately there are certain people who we've said this quote so many times and also hard you cannot expect different results by doing the same thing over and over, over again. again absolutely and we're going to go into some of the points that i want to talk about today about the mindset of success which will actually help people to understand that poverty is a mindset success is a mindset you have to be able to see what you wait there will be a far better of people this is why you see those people who win the lotto right i know we're in a five million us dollars today a year down the line that person i can win a lot of or that footballer who used to earn millions of dollars in a year's time they are in a far worse off position because their mindset was not made for success because all they do is consume 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 and quiet mm -hmm. but then it happened to the most of us so mindset for success is something that is deliberately done you cannot have a mindset of success if you don't do certain things that urge you to become a different person mm. um I, i'm just thinking as you're speaking could you mindset you took to a funny transformation and you said poverty is a mindset mm. success is a mindset the the difference now people success funny transformation funny mm. change that's right Talk to me about that change and what it then does to you. You, you reference how you're conditioning your children. Mm. And obviously, over time, they change. The system changes and recognizes that mm. And punish no, you know, my tools, my essentials to feed the mindset. In Anglic success, it is not you are propelled by costly mm -hmm. you know so let's talk about that that change and and what it requires for you to get there. you know so i think um we've spoken here on choose your heart and that's so hard but you know whether you're going to remain poor which we abbreviated as passing of opportunities regularly right there are so many people right now in the country of zimbabwe which has so many problems and get it correctly this country has so many problems just like every other country but there are also so many opportunities and to he who has a mindset of success he will not again i will say this blame the government blame everybody else 
but we'll look at the opportunities presented that they can actually provide a solution. Everything in this life that you want begins with a passion and a desire to either solve a problem or produce a product for people to consume. And in return, they give you what is called money, which then sustains you and takes care of you. So majority of people um, who, who, who have not tasted the other side of life want to rely on the one stream of income I always say to people, I used to work for six years of my life, but when I crossed the other side and I became an entrepreneur, that life is far more easier than what I used to do on an eight to five. But it depends on the lifestyle that somebody wants. There are people who are okay and comfortable at work, but I spoke about this, that it's only a matter of time until your job becomes automated or you are released from work. And then this that we are telling you and you know, I can always loudly hear somebody say, George, entrepreneurship, it's not for everyone, it's for those selected few. <laughs> but trust you me, with where this world is going, with where this world is going, and the lifestyle that you want, I promise you, there's nobody who is happy with the salary that they are getting. But when you become an entrepreneur, and you are exposed, and you want the other side of life, trust you me, entrepreneurship is not easy. People think, I want to read this tower to die. There are seasons of no sales, of hardship, of failure, of so many things that go wrong. But on the other side, there are also seasons of plentiful and much. So, you know, it, it depends on what somebody wants. You know, there are people who are very content living in a one roomed house. But do not depend on any desire. Majority of people who we see here in Zimbabwe who are driving these nice cars who have all these things and who are making it. We all know them, the he's and the she's. If you look deep down, five, ten years back, they sacrificed a lot. They had that desire. They were exposed. Panikawaka no one these cars they are now driving. And something in them was like, I want to drive a car like that. And they worked hard. So many people listening to us now don't like the season where a seed is put into the soil. And it in the Panache Ubuda. And that seed underground, these things happening. People nowadays, due to social media pressures, want the get rich quick scheme. And please, public announcement, it does not exist. There's no way you put something and you get an instant return. There's no way you to put a hundred dollars and it will be five thousand dollars in three months. That does not exist. Everything that is great takes time. So don't be under pressure by social media, by people you are seeing driving these cars. Most of those things you are seeing at the end of the movie. You are not seeing what they did at the beginning, but you are just seeing them now flourishing. And so many people are under pressure to get the latest phone. But trust you me, that mindset will be exactly like that when you win a lot everything brand new and then after a year they are selling those things for a third or even a quarter of the price they bought them because I run a financial intelligence and they don't have a mindset for success so you know mindset of success is, is something that um, people should really embrace and as I go into the topics and the points I want to highlight today it will help people to actually realize that it's it's, it's possible to have a mindset of success but there are deliberate things you need to do. You know, a big shout out to the amazing G's, my kids. This weekend, they were swimming. The past two weeks, they were, you know, at the Harare Amateur Swimming Champions, right? But I tell you, my kids were never great swimmers at the beginning, four or five years ago. But my son Gabriel is winning gold medal. My son George is winning silver. My daughter is winning bronze. And they are winning. But if you understand that mindset, and when we began what are called affirmations, called dara, before they won anything, it would seem foolish when they were coming seventh or eighth or even last. Mm. But deliberately, we did something which I learned and I understood that whatever you talk about in your mind comes about. It may not come immediately, but it will ultimately come. And now they are winning, now they are excelling in everything. Because with us, we believe that 
mindset is where everything begins. Mindset is everything. So, you know, if your mind is not conditioned for success and all you see are negativities, you will never ever see the good side of life. Who? 1241 on Capital 100.4 FM Arrive Hard. Put a pause on it. And let us breathe and take it in the mindset of success and how you go to it. Remember, we are live on our Facebook page, Capital 100.4 FM. You can go check it out even later after we finish the show. It's going to be day. And uh, of course, we're hustling hard on Hustle Hard with George Billionaire. And so far, it's been mind blowing. Um, I'm just taking it all in, you know, I'm just processing it. Um, and fr from from what you just said, I'm thinking there's a certain level of belief in yourself that you need. Mm. Most of us don't believe in ourselves as much as we should. Yep. We don't see the the millionaires that we one day want to be. Mm. You know, we 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 don't see it. You know. So like you said, mind mangun neli me to da bati me me. Because I just feel like Ningi is better than me. You know, Ningi can do it better than me. So, talk to me about believing, and then that being also a, a, a push factor for this mindset that I need. But believing would be, you know, like you said, if someone affirms and they have been affirming, you know, you keep on doing it, mm. isn't it? You yeah. know, you keep on hammering there until you get those results. But believe in yourself, scatter and say, I am going to have a million dollars. Mm. So that you are not a fundugi and a million away because why is it you walk up store a car or yeah true that you know self-belief is the the most important ingredient if ever you're going to become successful and um i i grew up watching videos of michael jordan cristiano ronaldo sir alex ferguson and i've read these books and i've seen wait a minute these guys were just ordinary, normal human beings. Right. But what transformed them to become great, and this is what I always instill in my kids, it began in their mind. Because if you, if you can't win in your mind, there's no way you win in life. If you don't see yourself as a billionaire in your mind, you know, there are people who used to laugh at me, George Billionaire, he was billionaire, what name is Zero Manga? <laughs> and um, a lot of people don't know my story. And why I began to call myself that. But there's something that all of us want in life. Some want to be thousandaires, hundred thousandaires, millionaires, some billionaires. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, what I call an SFP. And this is what I have spoken about over and over again. And there will come a time when it will come to fruition. This is me. But Wakonawano who want to be little and talk about somebody else, I always say, Whoever you want to despise or belittle to or talk down about Usenga Zive is hustle and where he's coming from, you will never attest or attest to what that person will ever be in mm -hmm. that life. Mm -hmm. So so let's stop talking about you know negative things about people who you don't know what they did for them to be where they are. Because all of us have different stories. So my mindset was transformed very young age because I saw people can do it. And those same people are just like you and me. They, they, they got inspiration from somebody. You know, growing up here in Zimbabwe, I, I used to always attend. You know, the thing with me, I'm um, scattered. Growing up, Pesi Penguin was a business seminar, right? I always wanted to learn from successful people. It was Dr. Nigel Chanakira, I was Tribe Masiwa, Dr. Nico Hizu, Pastor Victor Kambasha. I would go and attend, you know, success principles by so many great business people. And all that was doing was conditioning my mind. But Pandaras will not wait. All these guys, you know, Strive Masiwa sold his house because he believed in his business, right? Same did Nigel Chanakira, right? When you believe in yourself so much, you'll be able to sacrifice everything around you. There are people listening who say they believe in a business, they want to start a business, but they're not willing to sacrifice the car that they have to liquidate it. Could mm. I think they say three plate stove or whatever. So you don't believe in it? As much as you should. There's no way, if you don't believe in yourself, somebody will believe in you. You always see me, Scott. I'm always wearing my brand. I'm always driving a branded car. I believe so much in Pro Air, right? Wherever I go, it's red, blue, white every single time because I believe in it. 
So when you see me, and consistently over the years, people don't have to ask me what I do, right? Because they've seen it mm. in so many people's mm. office here, there you see pro air. And guess what it does? It gives you some form of confidence. But Kune Mumwe who does not believe in themselves, they don't even believe in posting their product on their social mm. media, even on their status. Mm. And my question to you, my brother or sister, who's going to come and pursue and look for your product or service if you yourself don't believe in yourself? Imagine there are people at my mentorship program that I say, you know, the quickest way for me to tell who you are, I say, please stand up and introduce yourself. Imagine what I have confidence you will reintroduce with what you do and what you're about. It's a serious red flag mm. that you need to work on. Because I've seen, you know, and I love Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, his mindset. People say, who's better, you or me? And you'll always say, in my mind, I'm the best. Mm. I don't care what you people mm. say. Serena Williams, Tiger Woods, whoever it is, Hussein Bolt, they're not worried about the opinions of people. They, in their mind, have a mindset of success. And in their mind, they are the best. Mm. Michael Phelps, he's not worried about the competition. And that mindset is something that is instilled by learning from others who are successful. So I grew up watching these guys. And whatever you feed your mind with, Whatever you give your ear to, you give your heart. And when your heart is fed with that inspiration, it comes out of your mouth. So I have become the person that speaks forth these mantras, these I am. And you know, I was with my son on, on radio the other time, and you know, he could you know, recite the I am faith that I am blessed. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I can do all things. You know, so those I am are those things that condition your mind for you to become what you want to be. Because on this earth, believe it or not, everything that happens was created by verbal utterance, right? Whatever you talk about comes about. And the word of God goes on to say this very lovely scripture that I love. And, and it says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, let the blind say. So there's something about saying it doesn't matter right now where you are. Begin to call yourself George Billionaire now. And I started it many years ago. But I can tell you where I was 10, 12 years ago is not where I am now. Mm. And I'm still on that journey to become what I want and ultimately mm. want to be. That's mm. the most important thing. Mm. So to people say, ah, change your name, it's not good. Uh -uh. In my mind, that's who I see myself as. Mm. Everybody has a view of who they see themselves to be. So make it so clear that people understand. Which, no, no, no. Munu, who your mindset here in their success always speaks positive. He's destined for greatness. He's the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. And with my kids, this is how it has brought these results in their sporting. They are winning. You know, there's nothing more proud as a parent to see what you spoke about with your kids. Now Coming manifesting. Yeah, yeah. But it began with programming the mind. Because our mindset, you know, we grew up from poverty. We grew up from parents not affirming you. So you think that if your father says you can't do business or you have a wonderful entrepreneur, you, like you began on the show with, you know, Nati O's song, Just Renew, and it, that song, it's, it's a prophetic song. I love it so much talking about people who have their own lives mm. but who pay new angle as long as mm. I'm going to take responsibility and I'm going to change I'm going to be the first millionaire I'm going to be the first billionaire mm. in our generation mm. not anger with you when you get rid of the poverty mindset and you change and go to the mindset of success which only hangs around with success which reads books which is constantly consuming things that edify you and make you become a champion, mm. which hangs out with chickens only. And I've told the pausers here, you guys, as long as you are a part and a listener of this show, your association determines your destination. Because if you hang around with chickens, you too will become a chicken. But if you hang around with eagles, you don't see eagles flying in multitudes. They fly very well, guys. They are, they are focused. When you see them flying together, the conversations are building about money, about wealth. How can we do this? But with the chickens, once they get money, I don't know what 
let's go and pop bottles mm, mm. let's go and buy a new car they forget about investing into the business which then multiplies more money so that ultimately we become bigger and greater so this mindset of success is a big thing if we're going to become a generation like we began the program with that song mm. we have to become that specific individual it starts with you you who's listening to me wherever you are it starts with you Speaking about people who are listening, um, Yuni says, Hi, Scott and Uncle George Billy. Is the mind strength, mindset strongly determined by one's environment or that which is packaged in your mind by your surroundings? And what does it take to change it? Is it your educational background, social background? How can I break out of the shell and tread in new waters? And she calls herself Yuni Street, and I like it. It's swabbing off. I like that. You know, so I would like to refer to an individual in the Bible by the name Moses. Right, Moses akura ogeto kwa kaita wondo momti yacho kaimisa mbasket across a river and ampala Moses was from a poor family but what the palace experience did to him it changed his mindset right but wait a minute this is a nice life this is the palace life right so environment has a direct effect on ultimately what you become what you are exposed to which is why I'm so you know I like to hit hard on the point of association mm. I have specific individuals and most of the time I don't hang around with my age mates because my age mates there's a lot of envy there's a lot of udakusaizana there's a lot of this that and the other I prefer to hang out with slightly older people because they are willing to assist if I ask they are willing to pour out their information you understand mm -hmm. so that environment helps you to mature quickly and to become a person who you know grows mm -hmm. so environment plays a major role if you keep hanging around with your age mates, trust you me, let's buy a new car, let's do this. Munuwese, trust you me, is influenced by other people. Everybody. You're influenced by the car you want to buy because somebody else did the same as the other. But with the older generation, they'll tell you, no, George. And I've been told, which is why I said mentors are so important. You know, there's a time, don't get to marry, but mature people will tell you, George, delay self-gratification. Make sure you pour into the business. A car does not define you. It doesn't. It doesn't. You buying a new house is actually a huge liability because buying a house, it will look at Maria Seyoyo instead of you ramble to and guess what? Create more money. Then when it when the time comes, then you can do that. But majority of us they think buying a house is success. They think buying a new car is success. So the environment that you are in truly determines what your mindset will be like. If you keep hanging around, and I cannot continue to emphasize, mindset of success is around other successful people. Mm. This is why, you know, Tanishangwa is on the other weekend. There's a board and there's a mad drink, there's a vendor of my father. But Chagashangwa is a good thing. Hey, listen, I want to introduce you. This is the CEO of this, that, that, and the other. These are good links. That's a good association. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's have positive um, surroundings that change our mindset and actually help us to become great. Mm -hmm. I have a friend this weekend who gave me a book. He said, hey, I got a book for you. I know this will transform you and your business. Where you are. You know. So, Association definitely, the environment is just not about education. Trust you me, there's so many books we can read. You know, mindset is transformed by so many things. Yeah. That's why I'm against you know don't shy about why we're not I'm doing Netflix and chill. I'm watching a horror movie, I'm reading a romantic novel. Don't shy out even what are they trying to build in their life? I cannot trust you me find time to sit and watch a soap, right? Or something that does not bring business. Or, you know something positive that motivates me the people who follow this you know series from season one to 25 <laughs> and they waste a hundred hours or 300 hours of their life but could I reading a book one think and grow rich you know and good to great there are books that can transform your mind but after watching those series Munakato create or content for you to consume but after that there's nothing that you are added in your life but imagine reading a self-help book, a motivational book, an inspirational book. It does something to you when you read and you learn 
learned from what others did that will actually say, wait a minute, you started with it and you started in 2023. George Billionaire did it and he started in 2012. He was surely in India. Why can't I do it? Yes, they went through hardships, but their mindset was always focused on the prize. They never gave up. They never threw in the towel. They went through many storms. They didn't get rich quick overnight. Mm. And they persevered. They were resilient. And ultimately, they got to the top. Many people like the visualization of the top. But when they're on top of the mountain, there's a physical process which is called climbing, mm. which you need to do mm. to get to the top. Mm. But people are just like, wow. Akuna elevator to success in this life. We have I, to. I, you have to feel the step. And sometimes you sleep. But keep your eyes on the prize. Because the top is where we want to go. And it's not crowded up there. Trust to me. The lifestyle is better. The life is better. But it takes a lot of sacrifice. From not going to clubs. Not going to parties. Being called this guy is a weird dog. He's antisocial. But trust to me. Ask Jeff Bezos. Bill Gates, Strive Masiwa, all these successful people, do you see them everywhere? They are focused on their grind. You know, there are people here, Lloyd Chisenye, Dr. Philip Chiangwa, Dr. Edgar Chandiwan, there are so many people. But when you see them, they are focused on their craft. You don't see them everywhere. But they are passionate about their thing and they have a mindset for success. They are not content on just being ordinary. And that mindset is deep. And that's what differentiates people who make it and people who don't make it. Mm. It's crazy how, <laughs> the word crazy, I think it's easier to call someone with a mindset for success crazy. Mm. It's very easy because they do things out of this world. They do yeah. things differently. They think differently. They act differently. And so when we see those people through uh, Georgia, and I need to get there. We could speak all day, but because of our time, let's wrap it up. How do we wrap it up in a couple of seconds? You know, it's 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 always something that I always relate to. You know, the vision about Joseph becoming the prime minister and everybody kneeling down to him was given to him. Now everybody who was created on this planet was sent with a purpose. How was that different? Scatter, you have a different vision from mine. I know where I want to go. So people shouldn't be put under pressure to arrive before their time. Seasons are different for everybody. There's a jacaranda season. This time it's Christmas season. But I'm a Christmas tree. That's their season. But everything has its season. So don't ever compare yourself to other people. Always know that this is where I want to go. I ultimately want to go to the top of this specific field. Focus on it. Research on it. Spend so much time more than anybody else in your industry. Be so good that people cannot ignore you in that field or sector you are in. And become good. You are the best person people can recommend. Mm. When you become so good at that, trust you me, you have created what's called a mindset of success. And money will magnet to you because of the craft, the business, the product service that you're offering and ultimately success will be your destination i can't take away anything from this but for today we'll leave it here channel yourself channel your energy make sure your mind is conditioned dream about it affirm it money do everything that you can but it's within you not anyone else no one will push you you need to understand how you cultivate that mindset for success george thank you so much it's always a pleasure and I'm really, really glad that I bumped into this particular one. Thank you so much. Bless. Lovely stuff. That's how we wrap it up. The news coming up shortly.